And on this video, we're going to learn the midpoint formula. So the midpoint of a line segment joining the points x1, y1, and x2, y2 is given by the following formula. Now remember x1, y1, x2, y2, this is just a reference, the 1s and the 2s, to point 1 and point 2. Okay, and it doesn't matter which one you label point 1 and point 2, because um, we're going to see that down here. We have S and T. It doesn't say point 1 and point 2. It says, you know, point S and point T. You choose which one is point 1 and 2. And generally, I see students go, this is point 1 because it's the first one I was given. This is point 2 because it's the second one I was given. Um, so now here's the formula. You're going to add the X's together and divide by 2. So kind of snap you to the middle there. And then you're going to add the Y's together and divide by 2. Okay, and it'll snap you to the middle of the Y's. Um, so you're just going to take that same idea on the... Um, coordinates they give you and I like to label them x1 y1 x2 y2 so again I just did that same thing here's point one here's point two and then I'm gonna plug it in my formula so I'm gonna add the X's together so x1 was 7 x2 is negative 1 y1 is 6 and y2 is negative 8 so now 7 minus 1 is 6 8 sorry 6 minus 8 is negative 2 now I do have to reduce these because 6 divided by 2 is 3 and negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative one. Um, you do want to make sure, like, they don't give you the, the coordinate, um, the grid lines to actually test this, but you do want to make sure that it's in generally the right area. So, you know, if I go over about three and down one, okay, that looks about right. That's in the, the generally, you know, correct area. Um, you just want to make sure if by chance you had, you know, negative three and positive one, well, that would be, you know, somewhere over here, and that's just in the totally wrong area. So, you want to make sure it's at least in the, you know, general area it should be. Um, since you can't like fully graph this one, you could graph it, um, using a, a graphing program like Desmos and then actually, um, graph the midpoint to make sure it was in the right spot. But as long as it's in the general area, you're probably, um, pretty good. All right. So that was midpoint formula. I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video.